What have you been doing this week? What have you been doing this week? What have you been doing this week? Oh, well, let's see. This has been a different week than usual. Oh, well, let's see. This has been a different week than usual. Oh, well, let's see. This has been a different week than usual. Last Friday, my school orchestra went to Atlanta, Georgia, where we went to perform in a competition, and we went everywhere in Atlanta after that. Last Friday, my school orchestra went to Atlanta, Georgia, where we went to perform in a competition, and we went everywhere in Atlanta after that. Last Friday, my school orchestra went to Atlanta, Georgia, where we went to perform in a competition, and we went everywhere in Atlanta after that. We went to the Hard Rock Cafe and even got to listen to the Atlanta Symphony. We went to the Hard Rock Cafe and even got to listen to the Atlanta Symphony. We went to the Hard Rock Cafe and even got to listen to the Atlanta Symphony. It was like a two and a half hour performance, but they were unbelievable. It was great. It was like a two and a half hour performance, but they were unbelievable. It was great. It was like a two and a half hour performance, but they were unbelievable. It was great. The next day, we attended the actual competition and were ranked as being superior, which is the best ranking, of course. The next day, we attended the actual competition and were ranked as being superior, which is the best ranking, of course. The next day, we attended the actual competition and were ranked as being superior, which is the best ranking, of course. And after that, we went to Six Flags, the amusement park, for about nine hours and rode just about every ride there. And after that, we went to Six Flags, the amusement park, for about nine hours and rode just about every ride there. And after that, we went to Six Flags, the amusement park, for about nine hours and rode just about every ride there. And then the next day, we went to the Georgia Aquarium and got to see all sorts of sea life that was really cool from all over the world. And then the next day, we went to the Georgia Aquarium and got to see all sorts of sea life that was really cool from all over the world. And then the next day, we went to the Georgia Aquarium and got to see all sorts of sea life that was really cool from all over the world. And after that, we went to the world of Coca-Cola and got to taste sodas from every continent. It was very neat. And after that, we went to the world of Coca-Cola and got to taste sodas from every continent. It was very neat. And after that, we went to the world of Coca-Cola and got to taste sodas from every continent. It was very neat. Following that day, we got back on the bus and rode five hours all the way home watching Jack Black movies. Following that day, we got back on the bus and rode five hours all the way home watching Jack Black movies. Following that day, we got back on the bus and rode five hours all the way home watching Jack Black movies. Who is Jack Black? Who is Jack Black? Who is Jack Black? Who is Jack Black? 
Oh, he's a real goofy actor. The bus ride was kind of long because of Atlanta's traffic, so it felt good to be back in my little old hometown. Oh, he's a real goofy actor. The bus ride was kind of long because of Atlanta's traffic, so it felt good to be back in my little old hometown. Oh, he's a real goofy actor. The bus ride was kind of long because of Atlanta's traffic, so it felt good to be back in my little old hometown. What instrument do you play? What instrument do you play? What instrument do you play? Well, my main instrument is the piano, but I also play the bass guitar and the upright bass, which is what I play in the school orchestra. Well, my main instrument is the piano, but I also play the bass guitar and the upright bass, which is what I play in the school orchestra. Well, my main instrument is the piano, but I also play the bass guitar and the upright bass, which is what I play in the school orchestra. What do you do on an ordinary day? What do you do on an ordinary day? What do you do on an ordinary day? On an ordinary school day, I try to wake up at 6 o'clock every morning and get some extra piano practice before going to what we call zero period at school. On an ordinary school day, I try to wake up at 6 o'clock every morning and get some extra piano practice before going to what we call zero period at school. On an ordinary school day, I try to wake up at 6 o'clock every morning and get some extra piano practice before going to what we call zero period at school. Most students start at first period, but zero period is like an extra class you can take before that. I take jazz ensemble. Most students start at first period, but zero period is like an extra class you can take before that. I take jazz ensemble. Most students start at first period, but zero period is like an extra class you can take before that. I take jazz ensemble. I get home after school at around 4.30, and then I do homework, eat dinner, practice instruments, or maybe go to church for a music rehearsal, and I usually try to go to bed by 11. I get home after school at around 4.30, and then I do homework, eat dinner, practice instruments, or maybe go to church for a music rehearsal, and I usually try to go to bed by 11. I get home after school at around 4.30, and then I do homework, eat dinner, practice instruments, or maybe go to church for a music rehearsal, and I usually try to go to bed by 11. Is there anything you would like to say to kids in other countries? Is there anything you would like to say to kids in other countries? Is there anything you would like to say to kids in other countries? Um, let's see. I would probably like to give the advice to make sure to cherish your youthful years. I do. Um, let's see. I would probably like to give the advice to make sure to cherish your youthful years. I do. Um, let's see. I would probably like to give the advice to make sure to cherish your youthful years. I do. What have you been doing this week? Oh, well, let's see. This has been a different week than usual. 
Last Friday, my school orchestra went to Atlanta, Georgia, where we went to perform in a competition, and we went everywhere in Atlanta after that. We went to the Hard Rock Cafe and even got to listen to the Atlanta Symphony. It was like a two and a half hour performance, but they were unbelievable. It was great. The next day, we attended the actual competition and were ranked as being superior, which is the best ranking, of course. And after that, we went to Six Flags, the amusement park, for about nine hours and rode just about every ride there. And then the next day, we went to the Georgia Aquarium and got to see all sorts of sea life that was really cool from all over the world. And after that, we went to the world of Coca-Cola and got to taste sodas from every continent. It was very neat. Following that day, we got back on the bus and rode five hours all the way home watching Jack Black movies. Who is Jack Black? Oh, he's a real goofy actor. The bus ride was kind of long because of Atlanta's traffic, so it felt good to be back in my little old hometown. What instrument do you play? Well, my main instrument is the piano, but I also play the bass guitar and the upright bass, which is what I play in the school orchestra. What do you do on an ordinary day? On an ordinary school day, I try to wake up at 6 o'clock every morning and get some extra piano practice before going to what we call zero period at school. Most students start at first period, but zero period is like an extra class you can take before that. I take jazz ensemble. I get home after school at around 4.30, and then I do homework, eat dinner, practice instruments, or maybe go to church for a music rehearsal, and I usually try to go to bed by 11. Is there anything you would like to say to kids in other countries? Um, let's see. I would probably like to give the advice to make sure to cherish your youthful years. I do. What have you been doing this week? What have you been doing this week? What have you been doing this week? Well, this week I've been focusing on trying to get my extracurricular started because the year has just started and I've been trying to study and getting my grades up this year. Well, this week I've been focusing on trying to get my extracurricular started because the year has just started and I've been trying to study and getting my grades up this year. Well, this week I've been focusing on trying to get my extracurricular started because the year has just started and I've been trying to study and getting my grades up this year. What kind of extracurricular activities do you do? What kind of extracurricular activities do you do? What kind of extracurricular activities do you do? Oh, I've been doing speech and debate and battle of the books, and soon Science Olympiad is going to get started, and I'm going to be doing that. Oh, I've been doing speech and debate and battle of the books, and soon Science Olympiad is going to get started, and I'm going to be doing that. Oh, I've been doing speech and debate and battle of the books, and soon Science Olympiad is going to get started, and I'm going to be doing that. And in addition, after school, I also have a Jewish youth program that I do, and I help with the kids in Sunday school at Temple. And in addition, after school, I also have a Jewish youth program that I do, and I help with the kids in Sunday school at Temple. And in addition, after school, I also have a Jewish youth program that I do, and I help with the kids in Sunday school at Temple. I'm basically like a teacher's assistant. I'm basically like a teacher's assistant. 
I'm basically like a teacher's assistant. And what is Battle of the Books? And what is Battle of the Books? And what is Battle of the Books? Battle of the Books is a school club that is focused on a competition with a list of books that we get every year and we compete on our knowledge of the books. Battle of the Books is a school club that is focused on a competition with a list of books that we get every year and we compete on our knowledge of the books. Battle of the Books is a school club that is focused on a competition with a list of books that we get every year and we compete on our knowledge of the books. What kind of books? What kind of books? What kind of books? Well, this year there are 15 on the list, and I just started reading The Bell Jar by Sylvia Plath. Well, this year there are 15 on the list, and I just started reading The Bell Jar by Sylvia Plath. Well, this year there are 15 on the list, and I just started reading The Bell Jar by Sylvia Plath. And the list is mostly fiction, but there is some nonfiction in there. And the list is mostly fiction, but there is some nonfiction in there. And the list is mostly fiction, but there is some nonfiction in there. And what is the Science Olympiad? And what is the Science Olympiad? And what is the Science Olympiad? Science Olympiad is a school club that is also geared to preparing towards a competition, but it's for a state science competition where we compete in partners on different science events. Science Olympiad is a school club that is also geared to preparing towards a competition, but it's for a state science competition where we compete in partners on different science events. Science Olympiad is a school club that is also geared to preparing towards a competition, but it's for a state science competition where we compete in partners on different science events. What do you hope to do after high school? What do you hope to do after high school? What do you hope to do after high school? After high school, I really hope to get a degree in chemistry because it's what I'm really passionate about and then probably go to medical school to focus on people and the brain, which I'm also really interested in, and I want to be a neurologist. After high school, I really hope to get a degree in chemistry because it's what I'm really passionate about and then probably go to medical school to focus on people and the brain, which I'm also really interested in, and I want to be a neurologist. After high school, I really hope to get a degree in chemistry because it's what I'm really passionate about, and then probably go to medical school to focus on people and the brain, which I'm also really interested in, and I want to be a neurologist. Is there anything that you would like to say to kids in other countries? Is there anything that you would like to say to kids in other countries? Is there anything that you would like to say to kids in other countries? Uh, I don't know. I'm kind of a new English speaker. Uh, I don't know. I'm kind of a new English speaker. Uh, I don't know. I'm kind of a new English speaker.
I've been here for six years, so it's kind of surreal to talk to kids who are also learning English. I've been here for six years, so it's kind of surreal to talk to kids who are also learning English. I've been here for six years, so it's kind of surreal to talk to kids who are also learning English. What is your first language? What is your first language? What is your first language? My first language is Hebrew. I'm from Israel. My first language is Hebrew. I'm from Israel. My first language is Hebrew. I'm from Israel. How did you end up here? How did you end up here? How did you end up here? Well, my dad got a transfer from work, and we all thought it would be a really good experience, and I have loved it so far, and so has my whole family. Well, my dad got a transfer from work, and we all thought it would be a really good experience, and I have loved it so far, and so has my whole family. Well, my dad got a transfer from work, and we all thought it would be a really good experience, and I have loved it so far, and so has my whole family. So, is there anything you would like to say to kids in other countries? So, is there anything you would like to say to kids in other countries? So, is there anything you would like to say to kids in other countries? Well, first of all, hi, and I guess some really good piece of advice is really go after what you love and work towards doing what you're passionate about. Well, first of all, hi, and I guess some really good piece of advice is really go after what you love and work towards doing what you're passionate about. Well, first of all, hi, and I guess some really good piece of advice is really go after what you love and work towards doing what you're passionate about. What have you been doing this week? Well, this week I've been focusing on trying to get my extracurricular started because the year has just started and I've been trying to study and getting my grades up this year. What kind of extracurricular activities do you do? Oh, I've been doing speech and debate and battle of the books and soon Science Olympiad is going to get started and I'm going to be doing that. And in addition, after school, I also have a Jewish youth program that I do, and I help with the kids in Sunday school at Temple. I'm basically like a teacher's assistant. And what is Battle of the Books? Battle of the Books is a school club that is focused on a competition with a list of books that we get every year, and we compete on our knowledge of the books. What kind of books? Well, this year there are 15 on the list, and I just started reading The Bell Jar by Sylvia Plath. And the list is mostly fiction, but there is some nonfiction in there. And what is the Science Olympiad? Science Olympiad is a school club that is also geared to preparing towards a competition, but it's for a state science competition where we compete in partners on different science events. What do you hope to do after high school? After high school, I really hope to get a degree in chemistry because it's what I'm really passionate about and then probably go to medical school to focus on people and the brain, which I'm also really interested in. And I want to be a neurologist. Is there anything that you would like to say to kids in other countries? Uh, I don't know. I'm kind of a new English speaker. I've been here for six years, so it's kind of surreal to talk to kids who are also learning English. What is your first language? My first language is Hebrew. I'm from Israel. How did you end up here? 
Well, my dad got a transfer from work, and we all thought it would be a really good experience, and I have loved it so far, and so has my whole family. So, is there anything you would like to say to kids in other countries? Well, first of all, hi, and I guess some really good piece of advice is really go after what you love and work towards doing what you're passionate about.